Come on, drag. There we go. Oh, that's a really big fish. Oh my gosh, for here at least. That might be the same one that bit earlier. Come on. That's a nice one. Oh boy. Lots of tank. Or at least, well, yeah, that's a nice fish. Bad net jump. Oh my god, that might be my TV. This is a really big fish. That's a long one. 19 and a half. About 19 inches right there. Gosh, beautiful fish. Hey, here's this big bruiser pre-spawn ram. I'm at one of the most beautiful places to fish. Really just one of the most beautiful places in general. You feel all 360 here. There's the mountains. Beauty. Can't wait. Um, this creek or river is really low, but there should be some browns coming up from this reservoir here uh, to spawn. And I'm hoping we can get a big one that came from the reservoir. Um, so, gonna be using some jerk baits. All right, here we go. You really work for your fish here. You work pretty hard for them. Oh, it came off. That was a nice big brown. I came for it earlier. No, that's brown. Oh, that's a good fish. Not bad. All right. Scoop him up. Try not to get him tangled here. Oh, it came right off. Perfect. In the net. Wow. Since I came to this hole, I just have been having a bunch of luck. It's awesome. Not bad. Maybe, maybe uh, I don't know, 14 inches, 15. Kind of long and skinny. So funny I'm catching fish right here because my buddy got his pinky cut low right in that bank up here, right in front of us. You can see and I've had bites almost every cast and I've watched two or three big fish chase my lure. I lost one and then I finally got that big one and then one came off. I think it's this wind is just amazing. Some perfect conditions. Alright, so I camped at the lake um, and I went back there to fish this morning and there was no wind and I just knew the fishing wouldn't be good. Um, and so I fished for 45 minutes, I got no bites. So I decided to hop in the car and go about 20 minutes to one of the most famous trout streams in the West. Um, so here I am, beautiful location. I'm gonna try to get some big spawning fish that came up from the lake down there and uh, maybe a kokanee salmon if I'm lucky. So here goes. I got one. There's a fish. Little one. Baby. I'm not even gonna net him. Really small brown. <sighs> this place is known for big fish, and this is not one of them. Fish, that's fish. That's fish. Another small one. Going nuts. Going just crazy. That one a rainbow. Yeah, it's a rainbow. <clears throat> Barbless. 
comes right out. All right, maybe I'm at the spot for small fish, and I need to go somewhere else. I don't know. Got one. Got him. Another small one. It's going crazy now. Rainbow. Once again, I'm not gonna net him. Just gonna unhook him. Barbless hooks. Bada bing, bada boom. Little rainbow. See ya. All right, so that last spot was packed as it usually gets. Um, it's a Monday, but it was starting to get pretty dang packed by 10 a.m. Um, so I'm gonna go up to a different section uh, that a lot of people don't even know about um, but it's pretty good uh, it's really it's it's low but it's good this time of the year because it should have some spawning browns that are coming up from the lake so uh, we'll see how i do all right you see this that's what i like to see no cars except mine and the river's right down there all right now this looks like a lot better because there's no people, but the river's really low, but no people still be sad in my opinion. The structure of this old bridge is pretty cool. Let's see if we can find one in here. Got him, big one. Get out of there, get out of there. Not a bad one, not a bad one. All right, right in that old bridge where I figured. Here's that brown. Let's come up. Yep. Not a bad one. Not big, but definitely not small. There we go. Get a little water. Beautiful fish. Look at this spot. just fishing this stream it's super low you got to be really sneaky um, and the deep pools are rare but there's one right here by this old bridge um, and um, yeah that fish was right in that deeper section pretty much in the wood in the timber I'm glad he wasn't a big one actually because I had to kind of wrestle him out over these little pilings and snags that are under there let's see if there's more in this spot There's one, there's another one in there. Oh, he came right off. Oh, that was crazy. There's another one in that same hole and I'm just surprised that, so surprised that um, catching the other fish didn't spook it. <laughs> All right, last cast in here. It's kind of a bad cast. Oh, oh, he swiped at it. Gosh, look at this area. Gorgeous. These huge, vast plains with just mountains towering around it. There's nothing else like it. Well, it's late October, and this very well may be the last time that I camp for the year. Um, but before I leave, well, um, I'll just tell you where I am. I'm in South Park. You know, just like the show. Um, and this place has a, some amazing streams and lakes. And whenever I come up here, I like to spend a little bit of time and kind of fish a few of them. Just not spend all my time in one spot. Yes, it's a big spawner brown. Come on, stay on, baby. Oh, it's a tank. It's a beast. Oh, oh it's a beast. Might be my PB. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh, it's a beast. All right. It's just a gorgeous stream, huh? 
nice and windy. Um, yeah, that was my PB brown trout in length. Uh, I've caught some bigger ones that were fatter, but I've never hit past 19 that I measured. So I'm gonna count that as my PB. And it's even similar to a fish I caught pretty much in that same spot a year and a half ago, but I'm not sure if it is. It was a skinny female, and I don't know if the fish I caught today was one that migrated from the lake or if it was a resident. So, anyways, thanks for watching.